everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Tori. So today I've filmed a fun little video for you all. I'm just filming a little introduction because I'm hoping all the clips come together well, but essentially today is gonna be a feeding all my pets video. If you don't know, I have about 40 pets. So all of these clips are over a couple of days. Obviously a lot of my pets I feed multiple times a day or a week, but I kind of just wanted to get clips of everyone. I think I pretty much did. I think I'm missing a few, but you know, majority of the animals I have are in this video. It's probably gonna be a long one, but I hope you guys like the video. Obviously, if you want to see more, do let me know. And yeah, there's no need for the long intro, so let's just get into it. But to get started, I'm gonna be making my dog's dinner. I have two dogs, I have a Labrador and I have a Chihuahua, and they eat twice every single day. My Labrador has kibble. She has the Wolfworthy kibble. Basically as close as I can get to raw food without actually feeding her raw food. And of course, she's a Labrador, if you know, you know, so she eats from from a slow feeder and then she also has some butternut box and then my chihuahua also just eats this she's a bit fussier but she really really loves this little chihuahua has like this much and the big labrador has like this much i'm actually going to use this to feed another pet so i'll leave this out i then give one of mine a antihistamine don't do this without consulting your vet obviously and i also pop salmon oil into one meal a day i will say i feel like this makes a ton of difference when it comes to their skin and coat she literally won't eat on camera. You camera shy. You camera shy. <laughs> then while we're in the kitchen, I'm also gonna make my bearded dragon and blue tongue skink food. As for my bearded dragon, she has salads every other day, but she's a full grown adult. I'm adding in some celery greens. I also just use scissors rather than a knife. It just lets me like cut it up better. I'm then using some kale. Like most things when it comes to reptiles and feeding, I go for variety. So she doesn't get this every day. She kind of gets a variety of whatever's in the fridge. I do have a care guide on my website, but I really just recommend you look up what is and isn't good for your bearded dragon. There are some things they can have occasionally, weekly, monthly, and you'll get to know what their favorites are. For example, my bearded dragon loves fruit, specifically strawberries and blueberries. I then just mist this with some reptile safe water. I just notice it keeps it a bit fresh for longer, especially because it's going into a heated enclosure. As for the supplements, I either use calcium without D3 or with D3 once every two weeks. So today I'm feeding all of my reptiles, lizards with calcium with D3. This specifically is the Zoomed brand. And then I also use the calcium without D3. I think it's the Arcadia one that I have. Another great tip if your bearded dragon doesn't really enjoy their salads is to use bee pollen supplements just adds a bit of sweetness that they tend to love. So this is for Astro, my bearded dragon. Then while I'm here, I'm gonna get my blue tongue skinks dinner. She's an adult as well, and she has this once or twice a week, about every five days, basically. I actually feed my blue tongue skink um, butternut box for somewhat of their diet. They need protein, but they also need their veggies, and this actually includes a lot of cooked vegetables. So I just pop that into a dish. I'm also gonna add a little bit of banana for her. And then she also gets some greens, although I do have to trick her a bit more because she's not a fan i'll just cut these up really really small and i've made an absolute mess as always this is for astro the bearded dragon and this is for my blue tongue skink toast i'm also then going to get out my frozen rodents and just let them defrost i will be feeding all of my snakes today so i'll get out all the rodents for them so i don't know if it's just a snake keeper thing that i have these ridiculous size tongs i ordered on amazon and these are the only ones i can find and also the fact that i have a designated rodent defrosting mug like is that just a me thing as for astro she is in here i actually got some calcium on her head yesterday so that is what that is but i just leave her salad down here she'll come down and get it later and i'm also going to feed her some bugs we're gonna ignore the fact she has calcium on her head and ignore the fact she's a bit slow oh my lord here you go. I do love to tong feed um, my reptiles. I find it's just a great way to bond with them. And I'll also just pop some in her salad. Another great way of getting them to eat more of their leafy greens is kind of tricking them into thinking the salad is moving. I've also added some blueberries in here because she loves them. <laughs> then I'll get it for you oh my god 
savagery. Yeah, loves blueberries. Not so much her greens. You can see she's literally just trying to pick out the blueberries. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> And then we have Toast, who is my blue tongue skink, who is nowhere to be seen right now. But I'll just pop her salad into here. So I didn't manage to get on camera last night, Toast eating her salad. But I also like to offer her some bugs, which I can show you. Um, she's actually shedding at the moment, so I will need a deep clear enclosure. So please ignore that. She is a bit of a savage when it comes to her bugs. Um... She likes to drag them through the dirt. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, she's literally eaten all of this salad overnight. Um, so I'll just give her a few buggies. I make sure I feed her her bugs after she's had her salad so that she's more likely to eat that. Apparently wants to eat the camera. This is Dobby, who a lot of you will know if you follow me over on TikTok. He was my first ever reptile I ever got, and he's a leopard gecko. And he's always right, great. <laughs> As I was saying, he's always down to eat. I do actually have both rubber tip and curve tongs, however, obviously, I can't find them. So that one was a bit better. There we go. He just gets a bit overexcited, I think. But yeah, he loves superworms. He loves dubia roaches, locusts, crickets. See if he can catch that one on his own. Oh, wow. Good job, Dobby. Independent king. I then have Dory, who is also a leopard gecko, but she actually has neurological issues, so bear with with this one. And also, do not recommend enclosures like this. This is just because of her and her condition, just like a PSA. Slightly touch her foot so that she knows that it's there. And if she wants to eat, she will. Okay, so it's a no from Dory today. This right here is my milk snake milkshakes enclosure. I actually just pulled out a few bits so that I could find him, but I'm gonna feed him a rodent now. I'm going to try and get this on camera, otherwise it's gonna be a very boring feeding video. Okay, I literally can't even get my tongs back. Okay, there we go. Wow, we're really going for the full, the full drama today. Okay. I'm also gonna go in and pop his decal back that I've just taken out. And kind of just leave him to it. This enclosure belongs to my royal python. He should be in there. Um, his name is Bonoffi, and we're gonna see if he wants to eat. He never misses a meal, so I'll be very surprised if he doesn't take it. Here he is. He is a bit blind, is the only thing I will say. Um, I need to put it literally right in front of the poor boy. Oh my God, he got dirt in his mouth. Okay, I don't... <sighs> What are you doing? 
And I'm just gonna take this off of him. Because I don't want you to eat that. Can I have that back? Okay, wow, he's really, he really wants that dirt, huh? Oh God. Okay, for anyone wondering, I literally just checked him over. He's completely fine. Um, that was eventful. I don't know if he's gonna wanna eat now immediately after that. Uh, in case you missed that, I normally just leave him to it, but he's a very, very chilled sweet snake and he'll just sit like that now for 10-15 minutes um, and then he'll eat it. So. so this last one is in a quarantine enclosure as he is fairly new um, and this is my new Hog Island bow up and so far he's been an amazing eater but he's only eaten a couple of times so let's see how he goes. Oh my god, that took so long that it made me jump. <laughs> I'm gonna keep moving that a little bit. Um, but oh my god. He's got that pretty good. So I'll just leave him under there. This is Gus, my Pac-Man Frogs enclosure. Honestly, these guys are top 10 most annoying species because I have got to rip up apart his enclosure every single time to try and find him yeah just to offer him some food he was a back here the other day but it looks like he's moved on okay i'm not sure if you can see him or not um but here is gus in his natural habitat i'm gonna just offer him a worm and see if he wants to take it There we go, that is Gus done for the day. <laughs> As you can see, one of my most active, fun, um, crazy animals, for sure. Next up is Negan, my Acumonitar. I do like to tongue feed him to try and bond with him, but I also do let some of crickets just loose in his enclosure um, for him to use as some enrichment and to hunt um, so I let out some crickets as well today, but he's fed um, multiple times in the week and yeah, you can watch him hunt for a bit. He's so active. It's so fun. tree frogs and um, they are in quarantine at the moment they had a bit of a bacterial infection however these guys are so funny to watch eat As for my crested geckos, I pretty much feed them every two to three days. Um, so I will feed them today. I'll kind of show you the process, although I won't be able to show you every single crestie because that would be a whole video in itself. So if you want a crested gecko video, um, it'll be about half hour and it will just be crested geckos. But I'll kind of show you. I make up their food, I fill up their pot, and then I offer all of them some crickets. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you gonna really do that to me right now? You just flung yourself at the glass. Next, I'm going to feed my four tarantulas. They're all spiderlings, they're still really small. And yeah, I do this by cutting a millworm in half or into quarters. And I just pop part of that into their, into their little tub. And in case you're wondering whether I'm doing this on my bed, I am, and I'm clearly a crazy person. And always, as ever, I forgot an animal, I forgot my snails. I'm just gonna grab them a few fruits and veggies and I just put it on like one of these plastic dishes um, just because I don't like to use anything like ceramic that they can break their shells on and just pop that into their tank. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hopefully have included almost all of my animals and how I feed them in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure it was a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, if there's anything else you want to see from me, please do let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.